In this video, we're going to evaluate this limit. So you might be able to look at it and say the answer is zero right away. So how can you do that? So method one of doing this problem is just look at it and know the answer. And the way I know that and the way you can know that is to know that this is a polynomial. And so polynomials grow faster than logs. So as X gets really, 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 really big in the long run, the bottom will grow faster than the top. So this limit should be zero. So you could just put zero and zero is the answer. So whenever you have like a polynomial on the bottom and a log on the top, the answer is zero because this grows faster than this. But let's say you wanted to show some work. What you could first do maybe is rewrite this by bringing the two down. That might make it a little bit easier. So two ln x over x to the fourth. And again, you could still say, okay, the bottom grows faster, so the answer is zero. Instead though, we can do something else. The top, as x approaches infinity, the top also approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity, the bottom approaches infinity. So we have like infinity over infinity. This is called an indeterminate form, okay? So whenever you have infinity over infinity, or zero over zero, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that you basically can just take the derivative of each piece. So here, the derivative of ln x is one over x. And then here, the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed, okay? So again, whenever you have infinity over infinity, you can just take the derivatives. You could have done that up here as well, except that would have required a chain rule, right? Because this is in here. It would have been one over x squared times the derivative of x squared. I wanted to avoid that messy stuff, so I brought the two down first. Okay, let's go ahead and rewrite this a little bit. We can write this as the limit as x approaches infinity. Uh, let's see, these are going to cancel, right? And this can come downstairs like this. This is going to be um, 1 over 2x to the 4th, right? Because 2 over 4 is 2, and we have, we have 1 over x over x cubed. Let me show you all the work here. So it's really 1 over x times the reciprocal of x cubed, which is 1 over x to the 4th. It's just kind of funky work. I personally didn't think of it this way when I did it. I kind of just realized that this would come on the bottom because it's a fraction up here. So you just basically multiply these and get the x to the fourth. At this point, you can no longer use L'Hopital's because you only have an infinity on the bottom. So now you just have to say, okay, the bottom is getting really, 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 really big. The top is always one. So you have one over something big that's small. So this is approaching zero. And that, my friends, is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.